Is it fair to say you can get a fairly good inkling about how well or not you're doing in an interview by the way a journalist behaves? Okay. If behaviour is moving a pen, then that's quite a good clue because if they're moving their pen, that means they're writing stuff in their notebook. Now, whether it's good or bad is another matter, but they are actually capturing your words. If it's a tape recorder, it's a little bit different because body language comes into play much more. They're not looking at their notebook, they're looking at you. They might smile, they might frown, and you can read what you like into that. But they might be playing tricks. They might be smiling a lot and nodding, and that's because you're spilling the beans. <laughs> you're, you're on a roll as far as they're concerned, so why should they be nasty to you? So, you, you know, you've got to think to yourself, why are they being nice to me? Is it because I'm giving them what they need? And, and if yes, which it probably is, is it something I'm supposed to be talking about? And if it isn't, then you've got a problem. You've got to deal with it. Okay. Is it any different with news or features journalists? Yes. Uh, news journalists are after something really snappy. They just want to go in, get something that's different, interesting, benefits the readers, all that kind of stuff, um, get the evidence, proof, maybe get a quote or two, and, and as soon as they've got all their questions answered, they've got it all packaged up in a nice little triangle. You, you might have heard of the Pyramid of News. Um, if you haven't, look it up. Um, it's an old it's an old thing, but j journalists do write in a pyramid, and, and so if you're delivering in a pyramid, and they're writing in a pyramid, when the editor finally looks at it and says, oh, this is taking up too much room, the sub-editor can chop it off from the back, and it still all makes sense. So that's something you might want to think about, the way you deliver the point, the proof, expansion, finish. That's news. Feature writers, you might have multiple pyramids. So you do your first one, and they go, hmm, very interesting. What about this? And you give them another one, uh, all based on different messages. And, and then they, oh, yeah, very good. So what about this? And if you wrap in quotes and anecdotes and all that kind of stuff, you're really fulfilling the needs of the feature writer. So news, short, sharp, get out. Features, um, more expansive. If you've got a novice on your hands, you really need to get rid of them as quickly as possible. Um, you know, tell your story, make sure they've got it all in their notebooks. You may actually have to say to them, this is my point, here are my evidence points, or you don't actually say it like that, but you, you go through the evidence, um, any questions, answer their questions, and if they ask, as they probably will, something completely off the wall, say, that's a very interesting question. Um, it, it's not strictly something I've got time for at the moment. Perhaps we could set up a separate meeting. You wanted to send them out with just that pyramid, that just little story, all, all wrapped up neatly, packaged. Goodbye, Mr. Novice. <laughs>